Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A long time no see. Sorry, but it's been raining a lot here. And um, also with me being busy and then like when I can do it, it's raining so I can't work in the backyard. But yesterday was a really good day. Uh, I was able to come and work. I did go to the green, I mean, the plant palooza they had yesterday. And I didn't, I only bought two things because um, the guy that I normally buy from, everything that he had, I felt like I already had, or it just didn't call my attention. So yeah, so that, so I just want to give you guys like a quick little tour, tour of what the backyard is looking like. Some things, you know, have, um, look rough because of all the rain and some things look amazing like this tree. Look at this tree. <laughs> Look at how full it is now. It's so full. That piece, I'm actually going to tie it and bring it closer because I want it um, to be, you know, together. I can either cut it or bring it closer. So we'll see. But that's what I'm thinking. So how do we start? I guess we'll start here. The This is my pumpkin, my pumpkin plant and cucumber over there. So far, I see lots of flowers, but nothing's happening. I did watch YouTube videos and I think you have to like um, pollinate them but I don't feel like doing like I tried one of them but it's like usually how do you catch it all the way open I did try pollinating this like with my finger and seeing what happens but I don't think anything has happened on any of these so we'll see what's happening let me see yeah I don't know maybe right here maybe i'll have it looks like i have cucumbers here also i think that the lizards might pollinate it too you know because they're always around here anyways in the natural environment right if it was growing on its own nobody's going around pollinating anything so we'll see what happens um i don't know what this is so yeah and i didn't do like a lot of research i just winged it so we'll see we'll see what happens like that's how I want to do it if it's easy then good if it's gonna to be too difficult then I won't I won't do it anymore <laughs> okay so like I said the tree I just moved this over here because I feel like it needs a little bit more light and with all the rain it needs to take advantage of the sun and dry up guys if you would have seen this yesterday the whole area before I started cleaning you would think that it's going to take me days to clean it, but no, nope. I started at 9.30 and finished at um, 1.30. The only thing I didn't get to is the greenhouse. I really want to um, take everything out and clean it, but I'm going to wait for cooler weather to do that because it's really hot. So we'll see. I also took the shade, all the shade cloth down. I took it down, especially because we've been having so many um, rainy days. So. And fall just started, so we'll see how fall does here. So these are my plants that are making it, surviving. I These are always good, no matter what. I don't have issues with those. I don't have issues with um, California Sunset or um, like the Ghosties. They do so well, so. And th this does pretty good too. I've never really had one rot, so yeah. We'll see what happens. So yeah, everything looks just a little bit rough, but I'm leaving things alone to see how they recuperate before, like, you know, when actual fall starts coming in, there's a lot of weeds I got to pull, but I actually, uh, I don't know if you can see, I got to pull it out because this plant over here is really um, covering it. Maybe I'm just going to yank this out. Okay. So. Can you guys see i like um the moss in there so i really just focus on pulling these weeds out and i like how the pot looks old you know so i like that like it looks i don't know whimsical to, to me i wasn't hot but since the sun is hitting hitting right here it, it's starting to feel really hot it's four o'clock in the afternoon on sunday so yeah we'll see I gotta move from here. I'm getting hot. <laughs> well, that's about it for now. But yeah, I like how it looks all in there. 
Anyways, um, oh look, the um, monkey tail plant is doing really good. Lots of growth, so much propagation going on. And I have um, another one over there. Um, this I really need to pull out and clean it up. Um, but I gotta get to that. I did repot two things yesterday, which was good. Plus I made like an arrangement for a friend, a small arrangement. So I did do that kind of stuff yesterday as well. But I really like how these are growing in there. Isn't it so cute? And this is the type of cactus that does lay down. That's what it does, you know, it just lays down. So yeah, I had, I don't know if I have something holding it up there. This is the one, the Madagascar palm. I just repotted that today. This is doing really well. Look at all the pups. Remember this, the main plant underneath had some damage from something that was, I don't know, eating it up. And I just continued to spray it and the pups took over. Now you can't even see the main plant. So it looks really good. This is massive. Look at those pretty um, spikes right there. They look so good. Um, this too, if you remember when I first did this, remember this cactus was yellow, um, like a really bright greenish yellow because it lost its color, but it was because it just really needed to be repotted. And now look at it. It's doing so good. This one too is producing lots of little things there. This arrangement is doing well there as well. Uh, it did flower this year, so yeah. And then I just have a bunch of random little things here. This I'm treating right here. See, you see that? I think they call that like rust um, on plants. I don't know if it's an animal that does that, but it is rust. So I am treating that, but I don't treat it when the sun is out. Here's what I'm using right now. I just hide it back here and I grab it to remember to do that. See mildew and rust, so yeah. That's what I'm using that for. And whenever you spray, you don't wanna spray um, when the sun is out or at least put it in the shade if you did. And then I had this type of euphorbia, I can't remember the name and that also can't remember the name and the San Pedro spiral cactus is there. And then these are my trees. I don't know when I'm gonna get fruit out of them. I really think I need to repot them. That doesn't give any fruit. I think someone uses that for like tea, like a type of tea. I don't know, my friend gave it to me. It's supposed to be a really good tea, but I have not made it, so yeah. Anyways, this is supposed to produce some type of fruit as well, but I have not seen it, but it has grown a lot, so that's good. It loves all the rain. Oh, let me show you the fountain. The fountain looks fabulous. This plant loves rain. As you can see, it looks really, really good. And then, um, sorry, and this is a type of Madagascar as well, but I can't remember the name. It's doing really well. Uh, I zip tied it to give it shape. I want to change it to something that's not so visible when I get a chance. So I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, that's doing good. And then let me bring you to this side. So that plant probably really needs to be beheaded but that's how it grows it just grows tall you know and it's lost a lot of leaves and then I just have a bunch of little propagations always everywhere <coughs> I cut these down yesterday to see if they'll regrow and then this pot is old it's doing good and then this has gotten so nice and then, yeah, there's a lot of things that don't look good. This used to be in the greenhouse, and I, apparently I brought it out here for rain, and then I forgot. So, yeah. But this looks super cute, too. It's full. Some of these, because they're so either old, the planter, or um, so packed, it, it does enjoy the water. So, yeah. But everything looks okay like you know i need to like clean all this out redo pots and throw away what needs to be thrown out decapitate what i need to decapitate things like that oh i keep that one won't come off it won't see i feel like when the this hold on it won't focus this um succulent right here has a type of mildew or mold going on there here's my original plant and look it's grown so much 
uh, ever since I cut it, it's got now one, two, three, four instead of one, so that's good. And then I had another one and I gave it away to a friend. And that arrangement is doing good there. This one is also looks pretty good. And then here are all my sepelias. And sepelias are really finicky. I don't know. They say that they don't like water, but sometimes when I put them somewhere where they won't get so much water, they look sad. So it's like, what is it? Do you not like water or do you like water? You know? So I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, so yeah. Anyways, but they, many of them, like quite a few have been producing flowers for me. Here's a big one. Um, and then this is the new one that I just got. And let's see. That's my propagation of the Hoya Carry Variegated. Uh, here is my string of hearts. I have a bunch of them everywhere. But this is like a main plant that I put out here after I chopped it all up. And it's gone crazy. So I just keep propagating it. And then uh, I, here's my mess from when I was just working on the... I just had this clean. See, you clean it and then you make it all messy again. But that's how it is. So here are my some of my, euphor my crested euphorbias. Aren't they beautiful? They look amazing. So, yeah, they're doing good. And my the, the rickrack that I have propagated too all over the place look good. This hindu rope won't it with all the rain it's been getting it won't look good i am thinking maybe i need to um probably like um when it gets cooler i'm gonna cut all the roots out and just let it start over again and maybe it'll, it'll get better look at this this plant is super happy i think it's the watermelon um i can't remember the main name for it but it's watermelon plant something and then here again we have some stuff that's straggling and some stuff that looks really good like these are super happy this one has dropped some pieces but it looks good someone's driving crazy i need to make a hole in this pot i mean in this tray so that it won't look like that that's plant over there's looking good this one's happy look at that fourth here that i shoved in there super happy loving it and then here is more like i think rip salis type of plants let's see i got like these two are different and then my um devil's backbone looks good yeah some of these arrangements look really good and some you know they've just gotten too much water so yeah look see that's too much water but whatever I just can't move it all, you know? Where am I going to put it? <laughs> so, yeah. This is looking so good. So happy. Love it. This one, too. This is not stick on fire. This is something else. And it's not also the pencil cactus. It's a different type of euphorbia. It looks so good right now. Oh, so my little teapot set here that was on the other side forever and it was empty i decided to bring it over here and put these plants and it's already been a while more than three weeks and look at how good it's doing hold up let me show you <laughs> look at this it's doing so well i didn't think that it would you know in the past i never knew that it would do so well but it is hold on sorry guys I'm gonna, I gotta wrap some of this around there so that it just looks fuller and better. Cause it's just too long. Now, when it's not raining for like a long time, I had to keep an eye on it cause it'll dry up quickly. So yeah, and this one also, look at that. So cute. I gotta take a picture of that and put it on Instagram. And then, um, these are doing okay too. Here's more propagation, little pots that I've had. And then in there, there's some Haworthia so you can't see inside the pot covered. Um, and then I have these cactus here and my huge Euphorbia, huge. Look at it. It is um, probably six feet tall. Look at it. I'm telling you guys, unfortunately, I might have to cut it. We'll see. Or I can just keep it tethered somehow. 
to the greenhouse, you know? But I gotta do something. It's leading a lot. But if we get strong winds, it might just topple over. So I gotta see. These cactus are doing so well. Also, so tall, so pretty. I love them. I love looking at them. They're so pretty. I'm thinking about, see my blue one over there? The blue one. I'm, I think it, I want to put it out here too, but I don't want to risk that one too. But I think the guy also, when I bought it a year ago, he was growing it outside. So it might be okay. I need to put something else in there. And then this one, look at how happy it is. It's so happy. Let me focus. This is a type of euphorbia. Doing really well. And then, I can't remember what this is called. It's doing good. She looks so pretty. And then this, again, likes water. It didn't look like this, but with all the rain, it just starts to cover it all up again. And then here I have these. You know, unfortunately, I noticed too late that I never took the plug out of this plant. I mean, it's not too late because nothing is dead. It just looks sad. So, yeah. And this is also, I would say, a type of fungus. I need to spray it. I am. And then there's a lot of propagations on this table. And then my pride and joy is my beautiful wheelbar wheelbarrow. It's doing so, so good. Let me show you a close-up. Let me not cover the sun so you guys can see how happy it is. I don't know why this is growing so narrow. I don't know. Here you can see, I think this is from, where'd you go? Too much water. It won't focus, so. Anyways. And look at this one. So cute. All of them are doing good. This is, um, this plant, I, I've always had it, and normally in the greenhouse or in a pot on its own, but that's the best it's ever looked. In Because, you know, it's it likes it in here. So, yeah, I love this cactus. I like looking at it from the top. I just like the details on it. Looks really good. This one might be one that lays out as well. And then this is a type of... Um, this very similar one that I have over there is probably going to end up draping over. So we'll see. Maybe I'll lean it on the rock that way or forward. We'll see. But it still has time to grow. And then here it is. This is so nice and full. Like I said, super easy. I don't know. You have to go back to the video to look and compare what it looked like because now it just looks so pretty so happy and again for a good while i had an umbrella over it just to let it root well before we got you know a lot of rain and yeah i took the umbrella away and everything looks so happy look at this one look at the close-up on this one so cute so happy focus so yeah gonna have like a get you know this arrangement here I am like now you know I'm trying to maybe downsize I still you know go to Home Depot every now and then and look not downsize but like if it dies it dies like I in order for me to purchase it again it's just the a plant that oh I really really love that plant I need to have it you know that's how I'll do it but other than that if whatever plant I have goes and I'm just like, whatever, I don't care, then that's it. Uh, the greenhouse, I don't wanna, it's just messy. I'll let you know right now. See, this could be real life. This is real life. <laughs> this is the shade cloth that I took out that I need to put away. Th that I just repotted yesterday, but I cut the roots so I can't let it get wet. So it's gonna be there for a little bit. And so I know that, you know, the roots are good and it won't rot on me. And then this, um, I also, repotted yesterday um i have a bit i had a big pot of that and you know what i'll say that that pot for some reason is not doing good it wasn't doing good so um yeah and then here so far all the cactus are doing good um i think some of them need just maybe a little bit more sun but now that i took the shake cloth off 
I think it's gonna be getting more sun. But yeah, many things are growing well. Here's this beautiful euphorbia. And because of all the rain, I haven't been watering too much, so yeah. And then some of the succulents will suffer because of that. So yeah. But look at this one, it's so cute. so cute so that's pretty much it guys this is the update I wanted to show you guys but basically all the cactus in here are doing well there some of them are still flowering I missed some of those flowers over there but yeah everything's still looking good I'm thankful for that oh and look the house you can see the color of the house that we paint um, we painted the house and we still need to paint the gutters the gutters are going to be the same color as the house but my husband he's the one painting the house on his own plus work and everything else plus maintenance around the house so yeah but he's getting there so yeah look i cleaned the floor yesterday this i look already i'm getting leaves pine needles but you know that's how it is so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys don't forget about me um yeah and um don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye, guys.